Alright, so basically what I'm going to tell you how to use is the Mouse Recorder Pro. And what you need to do is you need to go into a world that has the least amount of players with low ping. I use World 130. 130 has 54 ping and about 500 people. And I don't get any pauses along the pauses like World 2. So basically you get to make a loop. And to make that loop you have to start off by pulling out your bows or wherever you want to start but where I like to start is I like to have my bows made and start off by clicking empty backpack you know into bank whatever it's that little button on the bottom bottom right of the screen on the bank so I click that and that's where I start my recording I record there click that and then bring out my U bow and then my unstrung and then bring out my bow strings and doesn't matter what order for those two so I, I click those two together and let the screen pop up, give it like half a, half a second, and then I click it. And then I move my mouse over to the bank and just leave it there. I don't touch it. Leave it there, and once that's done, click the bank, wait for the bank to pop up, and stop the recording there. And so it'll be repeating that entire process as shown in the video. Um, the reason for the mouse not moving is because it gives you time to do whatever you want, type to a friend, open up your skills, see how many, how much experience you have left until your next level, or just basically browse on another screen or something. For the Supermate glass, buy 10,000 seaweed, 10,000 sand, and in the video it shows how many astral runes I think it's uh, let me see here you got you gotta have 1540 astral runes for 10k seaweed and sand 4621 fire runes for 10,000 seaweed and sand so once you've got that taken care of you can go to the castle wars bank like I do and just sit there and record everything. Now to record the sand and seaweed it's a little bit it's just not that much different. So what you do is you pull out your seaweed first because if you pull out your sand and your recorder messes up you're gonna somehow pull out I, I don't know what's happened to me before let's just I'm just gonna tell you what happened to me. I pulled out sand first and what ended up happening is my recorder messed up and I had like five molten glass which wasted two runes and six fire runes and then my recorder just kept going and going and going and, and pulling out nothing and basically I just kinda lost a little bit there just like one one K or so but but to prevent that from happening you pull out your seed we seaweed first and then your sand, 13 seaweed, 13 sand, X amount of astral, X amount of fire, and have your inventory open up on the mage, the magic setting, the magic spell book. So once you've done that, your once the fire bolts come down and hit the magical orb, I give it a second, and then I click the bank because if um, if I click it when they just hit the orb it'll go to my bank but because of that latency issue um, I decide to wait a little bit just in case some lag happens to just bump in during that while I'm gone or something so that helps and you definitely need to do that with whatever you do you record and along the way you'll figure out how, how to work different things but I use F4 and F1 to F4 to record, F1 to play. Now, the reason I'm deleting the F4, uh, the action F4 at the end, is because when you click F4, I don't know if this applies to everyone, but on RuneScape, when I click F4, it brings up a different tab for my inventory or something. So I delete that, and it keeps that from ruining my recording. And the reason I'm dividing everything by all the U bows by 14 is because you're pulling out 14 bows and strengths. And whatever number divided by 14, that's how many times you need to 
put um, repeat it in your recorder and that will make it so if you're gone for a long period of time like say you go on a trip for two days and you don't want to stop making those bows but you also want to log out so you set it up for that number ignore the point whatever it's gonna be a number a direct number point something ignore the point just do the direct number that you get and you'll have like maybe you'll have less than 14 left over when you get back for sure and if it's a direct number then you'll have no none left over now if you get confused on any of this just let me know and I'll help you but anyway for the seaweed and sand you divide that number by 13 because you're pulling out 13 seaweed and 13 sand now with this it's up to you um, when you get a number you're gonna get a point as well it's gonna be like um, say we divide 20,000 by 13 we get 1538.46 da 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 now this one you can put in the recorder 1539 only because you're not having to click like the ubo see if you pull out eight ubos and you're clicking the last ubo and the first bow string to mix those together then it's not going to work at the last piece it's just not going to work um i don't know how to really explain that to you well but you can use the 1539 uh, number of times instead of 1538 